Hello, uh, I'm Ronan Stewart from Roku Hair. Um, we're based here in Derry. Um, we've been based in Derry for the last five years coming. Um, last year, we had an unfortunate incident um, where we had to move salons. Uh, there was a fire at our old salon. Um, we found this beautiful location along the quay in Derry and we started working on it last summer. So we employed these amazing architects from Great On Architecture, Sean Fury and Liam Nealis, and we got working together on making this old restaurant and the beautiful new waterfront salon. Um, so me and my business partner, Connor, um, worked closely with the two guys to create a kind of eco space with a lot of light and um, we were really happy with the results. Um, and it got us thinking then of working with the guys together on a, another project. Hello, uh, my name is Sean Fury. I've been an architect now for 20 years. And I'm one of the directors, one of three directors in Graydon Architecture. Now we started a business here in Derry about a year ago. And uh, the guys at Rogo approached us to do a fit out of the new premises down, down in the quay. It was one of our first projects here in Derry. And it was a very exciting project and we really enjoyed it. And first enough, we, as, as Ronan said, we, we got a design award for the guys. And when Ronan approached us or me to uh, do this project with him, I was more than happy to muck in and sit down with him and spend many a night, not only drawing but drinking whiskey. And we had a good, good, good fun doing it. That's when we came up with the idea of using Sean's architect techniques and our hairdressing skills to create a new haircut using those dimensions and angles and things that Sean uses in architecture. Um, it reminded me of when I'd started hairdressing, that's the kind of techniques we used, using um, dimensions and angles. And So we decided to create a new haircut together, merging both hairdressing and architecture. Uh, unfortunately, when Dame Saha Hadid passed away in March through a heart attack, we thought it would be a fitting tribute to take some of her ideas and try and portray that through a haircut. And because she's known as the Queen of Curves, we decided then, instead of doing the sharp lines, just go a total contrast to the 1960s hairstyle, that we'd do a few curves. So we started working on that with the curves and we got some initial drawings uh, done up and then we just moved fast from there. And then we brought on the, the mix, um, how a building works, you know, like when you see a building outside, it's completely different from inside. So we thought when you enter a building, yeah. there's something different in there. I was off in Madrid last year working with these really creative guys, Expression Creativos, and on pixelated hair colour. We wanted to create the haircut where the haircut outside was like the building outside, so you could look at it, and then internally the colour was like the inside of the building. So we did the pixelated hair um, and, um, internally. So you couldn't see that when you're looking at it, but as soon as you get into the nuts and bolts or put a hair dryer on it, that's when the colour came out. And this brought a whole new dimension to the haircut. And, and you know, it wasn't just about shapes now, like it was in the sixties, but it was bringing in colour. And like architecture, you know, you walk into a building, you get a sense of surprise. With what we're trying to do with this pixelation is. When the, when the hair is moved away, you see the colour. The colour and the pixelation and the colour of the hair was uh, a reflection on you know, cutting edge architecture and how these modern modern techniques allow us to provide these beautiful buildings as well as your, your hair yeah. colour.